Okay, you guys, here we are. Um, we are going to start talking about, we are going to do this in class. We are going to do these in class. So if you do not show up to the Zoom, then you're responsible to do those on your own. Um, okay, so here we go. If you're talking about no solution and infinite solution, let's talk about this. So if I were to work this problem out, I would have, I would first distribute, that's my first step, so I would get negative 8x minus 4 equals negative 8x minus 2. Now I'm going to move my variables to one side, so I'm going to add 8x, add 8x here, and I'm going to get negative 4 equals negative 2. So now if I just try and add two to both sides, I'm going to get negative two equals zero. At this point, you know there are no variables. This is critical. If you still have a variable, then it will not be no solution or infinite solution. You, so just make sure that there are no variables. Basically what this is saying is that there is no possible number that can work as a solution to this. No matter what number I plug in for x, this cannot be true. Okay, because negative 2 does not equal 0. So when there's no variables and you have an incorrect equation, incorrect equation, this is going to give you no solution. All right. Now let's see what it looks like when you have infinite solutions. So if I work this out, negative 5, 9x equals 3 minus 9x minus 8. There is nothing to simplify on this side. I've got negative 5 minus 9x equals except for here I've got some common terms that need to be simplified before I move on. Now keep in mind, I'm not doing anything across equal signs, so I'm just simplifying. I'm not um, using my inverse operations. I'm combining like terms. So I've got negative 9x and then 3 minus 8 is negative 5. Now, if I move my variables to one side, I'm going to add 9x, and I'll get negative 5 equals negative 5, because these both cancel out as zero pairs. These cancel out as zero pairs over here, too. So I have negative 5 equals negative 5. I'm going to add 5 to both sides, and I'm going to get 0 equals 0. And as you see here, again, I have no variables, but 0 does equal 0. This is a true statement, or true equation. And what that means is if you get no variables and a true equation, then no matter what number we would plug in for x, that would work. Okay? So those are the difference. They are very important. And then there is not to be confused when you get x equals 0. But we'll talk about that later. So let's do a couple of these examples. Actually, why don't you work the examples, <clears throat> and then we will compare answers. So when you come back, the work will all be done. So pause the video now. All right, so hopefully you got number 1 here. Number 2, I hope you're getting at least this far. Now you get to this point, you're going to add 28 to both sides. We're going to um, subtract, and that's going to be negative 6 equals 2x divided by 2. So in this situation, I have a variable and a number. So this is one solution. One solution, and the solution is negative 3. This is your solution. If you plug negative 3 back in there, that's the only number that will make that equation work. All right, I'm going to pause the video again. I'm going to do some more work. Check your answer. All 
right, so now here, hopefully you've gotten at least this far. I'm going to add 24 to both sides. And I'm going to get 58x equals 0. This cancels out to be 0. However, notice you still have a variable here. My variable has not gone away. I still have a variable, so I can still divide by 58. As long as you have a variable, you keep solving. 58 divided by 58 is 1. And I get x equals 0 over 58 is 0. This has one solution, and it is 0. So if I plug the number 0 into this equation, then I will get a correct statement. So be very careful to not confuse this with anything else. All right, I'm going to pause and work again. Do you number 4, please, if you have an so hopefully you got this when you distributed. This has a lot of um, terms that need to be combined. Over here, there's nothing that needs to be um, simplified. Over here, you've got two terms with an x in it, so those need to be combined. And you've got two terms that are constants. So when I combine my like terms, I'm going to get 3x minus 13 equals 7x minus 4x is going to give me 3x. 14 plus 28 is going to give me um, 42. So now when I subtract 3x, I'm going to get negative 13 equals 42. When I add 13 to over here, I'm going to get 0 equals 55. Again, I have no variables and an untrue statement. So this will be no solution. So please make sure you understand the difference between all four of those. Those are so important. Um, and then go ahead and work on the homework, which would be Unit 2, Homework 3. So go ahead and complete that. All right. Good job, guys.